intercessory prayer. If you would like to come to the altar, stand up, pray as you wish as we go before our Father in prayer. Oh God, we thank you on this morning. We give you glory on this morning. We bless your holy and your righteous name, oh God, for giving us Jesus, a man that, that knew no sin, to take on the sins of the world. God, we praise you on this morning. And we lift up a mighty praise, a mighty worship, a mighty act of gratitude and thanksgiving because of Jesus Christ, the man that was slain for the sins of the world. God, we thank you on this morning for everything that you have done, everything that you are doing, and everything that you are going to do. So God, we thank you right now, God, for lifting up heads. We thank you right now, God, for doing miracles, for performing miracles, for signs, and for wonders. We thank you on this morning for touching a bowed down head, for touching a broken heart, for lifting up a bowed down head. God, we thank you right now for everything that you shall do in this service, God. God, we thank you right now for deliverance. We thank you for salvation. We thank you right now, God, for healing, for miracles. We thank you right now, God, for the person that shall walk the aisles on this morning. We thank you right now, God, for meeting every need in this place. So God, rain down victory in this place. As you got up, God, we had victory, and the victory is ours. Victory over sin. Victory over death, victory over sickness, victory over everything that we shall encounter. So God, we count it as joy that we, that we go through trials because we know that it is working out for our good. It is working patience. It is working perseverance. And so God, we praise you this morning. We thank you, God, for resurrection. We are still excited about our salvation. So God, rain down in this place, oh God. you shall do in this place so we make it sound like victory because you've overcome we thank you oh god and we praise you it is in your name in jesus name in the name of all names in the name above all names for the king of kings and the lord of lords that we pray amen and hallelujah now let us receive of the call will with our call to worship There's no one like 
Jesus. Come on, someone, open up your mouth and lift your Savior up. Lift your healer up. Lift your way maker up. Lift your protector up. Leave them to oh God. We lift you, we lift you, we lift you. We lift you, we lift you, we lift you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He could have got down from the cross. He could have got down from the cross. And it's not that he couldn't get down. He decided to stay right there because he had me on his mind. for dying just for me. Thank you for staying on the cross. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. But not only did he die, but he got up. Yes, he got up. He got up with all power in his hand. So we praise you today. We praise you today.
against I can no one can and no one will and oh oh oh, oh victory belongs to Jesus victory belongs to him
one more time. It sounds real good. Sing, oh, oh, oh. It belongs to you. Colors on, praise 
praise the Lord. Can y'all help me thank God for all of our wonderful leaders, come on, that makes up this wonderful church we call Beacon Light. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We greet all of you in L-O-V-E. Love it. It's good to see so many of you. Uh, on this beautiful resurrection morning, we thank God for all of you. Uh, cannot go with further without mentioning our awesome uh, band. Can y'all help me thank God for them? Just on point. All of our deacons. All of our deacons and greeters and minister alliance ushers. I just thank God for great leadership. Amen. And while you're thanking God for them, can you help me thank God for my lovely wife, Lady Iris, my girl. I just appreciate her. Amen. Amen. If you missed a few weeks ago, she preached a message. Just keep showing up. I don't know what it means for you, but I'm not just talking about church. Whatever it is that you're working on. Oh, boy, I felt that. Whatever. And if, you, if you're not working on nothing, then shame on you. But look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I'm working on something. Just keep showing. Just keep showing up. Because the day might be the day that that door opens. You just got to be consistent and keep showing. Keep showing up. Thank God for her on today. I thank God for all of those who are sharing with us. All of those who are viewing and watching, we thank God for you allowing us to come into your beautiful homes or uh, wherever you may be on this morning. We thank God for all of you. And then, of course, all of our first-time visitors, if you're sharing with Beacon Light uh, for the very first time, would you please just lift your hands all over the building. We want to recognize all of our first-time. Oh, come on. We can do better than that. All of our first-time visitors, thank you. Thank you for being with us on this morning. We know there's many churches that you could have fellowship with this morning. Morning, but we believe and know that God has led you here by his spirit and for that we are grateful we just ask one thing and one thing only please don't let this be your last time sharing with us here at Beacon Light because we're the church where the spirit of God is the motivating force come on family thank God for all of our first time visitors now I have to mention there's a young lady by the name of Miss Janice McCormick She's from Birmingham, Alabama. I don't know if she's in this service, but from Birmingham, Alabama. Maybe she'll be in our 10 o'clock service, but we're going to thank God for her. She's coming all the way down for the first time. Can y'all help me thank God for that? For Birmingham, Alabama, she's always online, but this is her first time sharing with us on today. And then, of course, I thank God for all of you. Uh, I want to recognize this young man because he is the, our former state rep. Former, yeah, I say that, former state rep. And he's also our former regional director for SBA. And the reason why I say he's our former is because he's getting ready to run for mayor this year. Can y'all help me thank God for Ted James? Yo, oh, no, we can do better than that. Let's thank God for him being with us today. Yeah, he's the former state rep, former uh, regional director because he's running for mayor this year. We thank God for him. I want to thank everyone for last week. Uh, we celebrated 17 years of being the pastor of Beacon Light of Baton Rouge. I thank God for all of you and I just appreciate all of you so much. And then of course on next Sunday is first Sunday, communion Sunday. So I want to make sure we're all here as we commune together uh, as a family. Amen. I want to take a moment, listen, because we're going to give unto the Lord. The reason why I want us to hurry up and get this, because I have something that I believe that God is going to touch your heart, your mind, your spirit. But more than anything, somebody's life is about to change today. And they don't even realize that God is setting you up to change your life forever. This Sunday, in Easter, Resurrection 24, 2024, you'll never forget it. I want all of us now to prepare our hearts and minds to give unto the Lord. Here at Beacon Light, listen, I'm sorry, I, let me fail to mention Miss Melissa. I did see Miss Melissa. Uh, Miss Melissa has a grand opening, opening deeply rooted. Uh, of course, 11, uh, 50, 11353 Greenwell Springs Road. Uh, of course, all natural skin product. So please make sure you get a flyer on your way out and support Miss Melissa Williams. Amen. Amen. Now, all of us now are preparing our hearts and minds to give unto the Lord. Here at Beacon Life, we are a tithing church. We are a giving church. I want every person, if God has blessed you with income, 
Uh, if God has blessed you with a job, you're truly blessed to have it. I want us all to give what rightfully belongs unto the Lord, and that is the tithe. All of those who are viewing and watching, we thank God for you. Now listen, if you took your tithe money and went brought that new outfit, and you look good, I want to have I, you look good. But I want you to know what my prayer is this morning. My prayer is that if you took your tithe while you're sitting at brunch, I can't wait for you to waste some shrimp and grits. No, I'll see, I'll see something. Oh, I'm, just, I'm joking, I'm joking. Make sure you put a bib on. Make sure you put a bib on. Don't, don't mess up that dress. Don't mess up that new suit with your eyes. Hey, Amen. But listen, I want all of us now because we're truly blessed. I say this all the time. We're so blessed that you can go in your closet, pick out what dress, what shoes you want to wear. Some of us can go in the garage and pick what car you want to drive. And we're truly blessed. But then many of us, we come to church and tip God like he's a shoe shine boy. When God says, come on, I've been better to you than you've been to yourself. So I want all of us now to think about how good God has been. I want all of us now, if you need an offering envelope, a unified offering envelope, would you lift your hands, our hardworking deacons are in the aisles to assist all of you today, all of those who need an offering envelope. If you're using your mobile devices, I'm going to ask if you would please pull out your iPhones, your Androids. You can do text to give, text to 28950, cash app, Beacon Light VR, go to our website, beaconlightofbatonrouge.org, spelled all the way out. Go to the giving key, and you can give online. Amen. Now listen, real quick, real quick. If you're sitting next to somebody who looks good, because all y'all look good, and you don't have nothing to give, look at them and say, hey, let me hold something. Come on, look at somebody and say, let me hold something. Let me hold something. Because so, y'all just look too good. Let me, let me just hold Tell them, let me hold a hundred. Let me hold a hundred. Let me hold something. Okay, because if I take your money, put it in the offering, that means I'm going to be blessed, and you're going to be blessed on top of that. So let me hold something. Amen? Amen. Now, listen, I want us all to take a moment. Fill out your offering envelopes. Use your mobile devices, and we're all going to give unto the Lord. Amen? If you don't mind, would you please stand all over the building? Would you please stand all over the building? One thing about being here at Beacon Light, um, Coach Dooley knows this, is that you got to be in shape at Beacon Light. You got to be in shape because we, we going to run, we going to dance, we going to shout, we going to sit up, sit down, we going to stand up. It's just a part, it's just what happens here. And I want to say to you real quick, I only have three more. Would you please look at your neighbor one more time. Say, neighbor, happy resurrection. But I'm getting ready to say something. And I hope that you don't get offended. But if you do, it's all good. I need every person in here to make it sound like victory. Can somebody shout harvest, favor, increase, all three up on me in Jesus' name. Amen. Every person who has an offering envelope, I'm going to ask if you would please come and lay it here on the altar. Those who have your mobile devices, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord.
if you know he got up with all power in his hand. Thank God for our awesome music ministry. I appreciate all of them so much. Thank God for all of you uh, this morning. I won't, I won't be before you long, I promise you that. But I want to uh, take a moment because today is the Sabbath, even though it's resurrection, but it's still considered the Sabbath day. And I want to share something with many of you. I say this every Sunday, but sometimes I don't think many of us hear it. Is that the Sabbath, whatever, the argument is not when you celebrate the Sabbath. Most people don't understand it's what you do on the Sabbath. And because today is the Sabbath, it's resurrection, it's Easter, that many of us today uh, come to church. And that's a very, very important part of what we're supposed to do on the Sabbath. But here's the second part to the Sabbath, is spending time with family and friends. That's what the Sabbath day, the Sabbath is not just church. It, don't, it, talks, it doesn't talk about a Sabbath service. It talks about the Sabbath day. That when your friends and family leave out of your presence, they're supposed to leave out refreshed ready to take on another week can somebody thank God for the Sabbath come on that many of us today we will get a chance to go and spend time with family and friends and the reason why I'm saying that is because uh, one of my uncles is in town from Houston Uncle Gene A.T. Chantel just wave come on let's thank God for them my little cousin call them all the way from California oh no come on y'all we can do thank you so much I just appreciate my family. I uh, love them with all of my heart. Now listen, this morning, just for the remaining moments, just for the remaining moments, I want you to, I want you to take a walk with me real quick. We're going to end up talking about a woman by the name of Mary, Mary Madeline. Mary Madeline, listen, Madeline, listen. She was one of the first people that made it to the tomb after Jesus was risen. So this morning, I want to talk from the subject of what were you expecting? What were you expecting? Help me, Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, let's just take a short walk together just give me about 12 minutes I promise 12 minutes of your undivided attention let's take a short walk together from last Sunday to this Sunday because last Sunday what was considered Palm Sunday Palm Sunday here it is now to Resurrection Sunday according to Matthew chapter 21 you remember the story where Jesus tells two of the disciples he says, listen, I need you to go into the adjacent town. He says, and there will be a donkey tied up that no one has ever ridden. He tells the, the disciples, go in to the adjacent city, and there will be a donkey tied up. He says, and bring him to me, and if anybody asks you, what are you doing? He said, the Lord has need of it. Now, here it is. Watch this. Jesus sins. Now, he has to fulfill the prophecy of Zechariah. That Jack Zechariah spoke saying, watch this, that a king is going to come into town. But he's not going to come in on a stallion, on a horse. He's going to come in on a lowly, meek, and humble donkey. But here it is. Watch this. But the donkey has never been written on. Nobody has ever placed anything on this donkey's back. Stay with me. I'm going somewhere. Jesus gets on the back of the donkey for the very first time. But here it is. Watch this. But we must understand the behavior of an animal or a donkey or a horse that has never had anything put on it. Because here it is, watch this. If you ever get on a horse or a donkey for the first time, 
because a donkey or a horse has to go through some training. In other words, here it is, a donkey or a horse have to be broken. They got to break them. Here it is. Because if a donkey has never had anything placed on them, by nature, its tendency of the donkey is to buck. Oh, I'm coming to get you early. Uh, 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 it's, a, it's a shake. Uh, uh, the tendency of the donkey is to kick. It's, it's just, uh, uh, it's to fight. That's, that's what a donkey does. But this donkey, watch this, has never had nothing put on his back. But this donkey, watch this, here it is. Jesus gets on a donkey that has never been written before. And here's the reason why. Because God can control anything. Watch this. Anything that tries to buck or shake or kick or fight. Jesus says, place me in it or place me on it and I can control it. Can I preach it the way I feel it? Because some of us got some stuff going on in our lives and feel like it's bucking, feel like it's shaking. But if you put God in it, he says, I can control anything that bucks, shake, and fight. But here it is, watch this. But here it is, let's walk, let's walk, watch this. He gets on the donkey. And he, Jesus, watch this, who is the king of kings. He's going, watch this, he's riding a donkey that has never been written before. And the Bible says, here it is, they saw him, the city, the citizens of the city, begin to see Jesus. Here, I'm coming to get you one more time. Watch this. And as they're riding through the city, he comes in, watch this, and as they're putting palm branches, but not just palm branches, but they're taking off their outer garments because the outer garments, watch this, is an expression of worship. Ooh, I'm all in the business. Watch this. See, they're saying that my wardrobe is not as important as my worship. Can I preach it the way I feel it? Because some people, watch this, are too concerned about what we have on. Here it is. Watch this. And things that are too important to us. Can I preach it the way I feel it? Sometimes you got to strip yourself of what you think is important so you can give God worship. I wish I had about 20 people that understands ain't nothing that important in my life that I'm going to stop and not give God praise because my clothes are not that important. My title is not that important. I wish I had about 20 people saying, Pastor, you preaching to me. I want to give you five seconds to give God praise because my worship and my praise, my clothes don't mean nothing. My house don't mean nothing. My car don't mean nothing. Oh, but God. See, but here, here's the part. Here's the part you're missing. Watch this. See, we, we think uh, of ourselves uh, to be uh, of, 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 of importance. Here, here it is, here it is. But here's the second part. Here's the second part. They cut down palm branches. I'm taking a walk. I'm taking a walk. Walk with me. Come, come walk with me. He gets the donkey. He gets on the donkey. He's riding through the city. Now here, I'm coming to resurrection. I'm coming to get you. I'm going to tell you he got up in a few minutes. So, so watch this. He, they, they, they got palm branches down. They take the outer garments off. But watch this. Here it is. Here it is. When a king would go out to battle, if the king and his army, and if the king and his troop, watch this, was victorious, as the king, the army, watch this, they would return from battle. And because they're returning from battle, don't miss it, that's when they lay down the palm branches and the outer garments. But why are there laying palm branches and out of garments now? Watch this. Jesus is on his way to battle. Oh, y'all going to make me preach? Normally when the king comes 
from battle. They will lay down palm branches and outer garments. But Jesus is on his way to Calvary. He's on his way to the grave. Can I preach it the way I feel it? Because the people are saying, sir, we know you to be the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Watch this. And we know that the battle is already won. I wish I had a few people that no matter what you're going through, look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, all I do is win. Because when you got God on your side, even when it looks like I'm losing, I'm still winning. Because you got to understand, before the battle even starts, I've already won. Look at your neighbor one more time. Say, neighbor, I see victory. I'm sorry, you looked at the wrong neighbor. Look at somebody who looked like they're going somewhere. Say, neighbor, I see victory. Can I get somebody to give God a shout of the praise? Because I'm still winning. Even when I'm down, I'm still winning. I'm on my way to battle, but I'm still victorious. Tell somebody we won. No, tell somebody we already won. We already. Why are you still sitting there like a bump on the log when you still a winner? When you still victor? He's on his way to Calvary. And the people saying, you already won. Watch this. They announce. They're always, they're announcing before it even happens. Man, y'all not doing me right this morning. I said they announced it before it even happened. I believe that some of us in here this morning got an announcement to make. Anybody besides me got an announcement to make to let that enemy know and to let certain people know the victory is already. You got to make an announcement before it even So, so, come on, come walk with me. Come, come walk with me. We, he, he gets the donkey. He's strolling through town on his way to Calvary. And, and watch this, watch this. And they get to Good Friday. They, walk, they, they marched him from Judgment Hall to Judgment Hall. And then they finally get to Good Friday. This is the day, watch this, don't miss it. See, this is the day where they lay the cross down. And they said they put nails. Now watch this. If you really study, the nails was not in his hand. The nails was in his wrists. Because if you put them in his hand, his hand would have split. So they put the nail. Ooh, can you? They put the, he loved you so much that he let them put nails through his wrists. And if you study crucifixion, watch this. They put his feet on top of each other. Watch this, watch this. They, and put nails through his feet. But, but here, here was the problem. Here was the problem. Why they had the cross laying down. They nailed him through his wrist and through his feet. And Jesus says, y'all about to make a mistake. And they was like, what mistake is that? He says, I'm telling y'all, y'all might want to leave the cross laying down. <laughs> He says, see, the problem is, y'all about to do something, watch this, and victory is about to happen. He says, watch this, can I preach it the way I feel it? He says, and I'll be lifted up from the earth. I will draw all men unto me. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, when he got up, I got up. Somebody say, and still I rise. Somebody say, still I rise. You shoot me with your words. You cut me with your eyes. But still I work. But still I rise. Tell somebody you can't keep me down. And still I rise. Ask your neighbor, say, what were you expecting? What were you expecting? defeat. I've been seeing victory. Just because I had to go through it don't mean I was losing. God was set me up for me. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to walk. I'm just, 
I'm just trying to take a walk. Why don't you come walk with me? Come walk with me. He, he goes and gets the donkey. He throws, he rolls through the city. He gets the frog. Then he nailed him to the cross. And then they made a mistake and raised him up. But he said, that's not how the, that's not, that's not how the story ends. Then they say, watch this, that they put him in a borrowed tomb. They put him in a borrowed tomb. And he told them, listen, y'all, he said, listen, I'm going to be there three days. And on the third morning, watch this, he says, I'm going to get up. Here's where it is. Please, please be seated. Please be seated. So now, now, here it is. It was sad. It was quiet. All day sad. But early Sunday morning. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sir. Go, go, go. Go, go, go with me. Go with me, watch this now. Go with me to John. Go with me to John. John chapter 20. Watch this. Go with Because I want nobody to say he ain't opened the Bible. Oh, right here. John chapter 20. John chapter 20. Just look at verse 1. Verse 1 says, now on the first day of the week, Mary Madeline went to the tomb early. While it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. Drop down to verse 11. Verse 11 says, but Mary stood outside by the tomb weeping. As she wept, she stood, she stooped down, watch this, and looked in the tomb. And, and watch this, see, sometimes you can't let your emotions. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to help you. you. You can't let your emotions mess you up. Because Mary is all emotional. And she saw two angels White, he said, in white sitting, one at the head, the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. Now, here it is. Then they said to her, woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, because you have taken away my Lord. I do not know where they have laid him. But verse 14. Now, when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there. And did not know. It was Jesus. Jesus says to her, woman, why are you weeping? Who? Who are you looking for? She supposed him to be the gardener and said to him, sir, if you have carried him away, look, watch this. Tell me where you have laid him and I will take him away. I, I, could preach, I could preach so much from that. Can I just throw this out there for free? Can I just throw it out there for free? It ain't even in my notes. I can throw it for free. Mary was trying to take matters into her own hands. Preach, boy. Some stuff, you just got to let it play out. Can I preach it the way I feel it? Stop trying to fix everything and everybody. Some stuff, you just need to let it play out. Look at your neighbor one more time. Say, neighbor, in this season, I'm letting God do the work. I wish I had a few people that understand I have messed up a whole lot of stuff. But in this season, I'm going to sit back and watch God work. Can I get a few people that expecting God to do something, but you got to let God do his part. What was Mary expecting? Here it is. Here, here, here. Watch, watch. See, Mary was looking for something that she saw, but she missed what he said. Because what he had said was, in three days, I'm going to get up. Now, the problem is, if he would have been there, when Mary got there, we all would have had a problem. But here, well, y'all got to read the text. You got to read the text. Because the Bible says that Mary went and called the disciples and said, hey, y'all come see. Somebody then took my Jesus. And the disciples looked. I'm cool. I'm going back to the crib. I cannot preach it the way I feel it. Because sometimes you got to be careful of who you hanging out with. Because Mary was about to mess up the disciples. Here it is. Look at your neighbor one more time. Say, neighbor, raise your level 
of expectation. Oh, can I preach it the way I feel it? I'm looking at somebody in here today that God told me to tell you that you got to raise your expectation because guess what? I'm not looking for defeat. I'm looking for victory. And if you keep looking for victory, sooner or later you're going to run. What were you expecting? I gotta help somebody. Here, here, here's for the person who's like me, who's saying, Pastor, you don't, all of that, that sounds good. But Pastor, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not cut like that. I done made a lot of mistakes. I done messed up so much. Uh, join the team. Join the team. Here, here, can, I, can, I, can I shout you one more time? Coach, I didn't even send this to you. Colossians 2 and 14. Colossians 2 and 14, watch this. You gotta, that's why, listen, Beacon Light, you got to read the Bible slow. You can't read the Bible fast. You got to read it slow. But when you look at Colossians 2 and 14, look what it says. Having wiped out the handwriting, a requirement that was against us. Here it is, don't miss it. Which was contrary to us. And he had taken it out of the way, watch this. Having nailed it to the cross. Y'all don't even know when to shout. Everything that you and I have ever done and what we will do, the Bible says it's already nailed to the cross. Why are you so busy talking about what I used to do? You so busy talking about my past that you can't even see my future. I got one more in me. Like, look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, it's nailed to the cross. Can I get somebody? You got to set yourself free. Stop bringing up old stuff because it's been nailed to the, to the cross. Watch, 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 watch. Here it is. I got to go. I got to go. Come on. I got to go. Watch this. Watch it. Here. Watch this. Watch it. Watch it. Mary, Mary shows up. Watch it. Mary shows up. Mary shows up. Mary was expecting his body to be there. Wrong expectation. Now here it is, watch this. If his body would have been there, it would have been a reason to weep. But here it is, don't miss it, don't miss this, watch this. Mary C. is seeing tragedy opposed to victory. Number one, here it is, I only have two points. I'm almost done, then I, then I got you. One, sometimes our weeping is meaningless. I'm all in the business. I'm standing on business today. <laughs> it's, it's resurrection. I'm standing on business today. Oh, I came here with it on my mind. I haven't preached in three weeks. I came here with it on my mind. I'm, I'm standing on. Sometimes our weeping is meaningless. In other words, can I come get you? Can I ring the doorbell? Can I come pick you up on the bus? Anybody besides me ever had your heart broken? Ever had somebody to talk about you? Ever had somebody to walk out on you who said they were going to be with you forever and it broke your heart, it made you cry? But you didn't even realize that God was setting you up for your next stop. I wish I had somebody who cried over a job. God said I had to let that go. But sometimes your, cry, your tears are meaningless. You crying over victory. You crying over something. And God says you don't even see the victory. See, you, you, you have to see victory in what seems to be defeat. Here it is. Watch this. Mary is basing everything on what she sees, not what he said. And some of us, how you going to have great expectations if you don't know what he said? And I remember the other day he said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Can I preach it the way I feel it? He didn't say the weapon wouldn't be formed. He just said it wasn't going to prosper. Okay, y'all didn't know that one. He said, I prepare a table in the presence of your enemies. He said, lean not to your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge me. And I show you. Like, okay, y'all didn't get that. He said, when your heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. I wish I had somebody God said, I will command the blessing to be there. You got to know what he, 
Is there anybody besides me? God made you a promise. You got to know what he... Here it is. Watch this. Here it is. Please be seated. I have, three, I have three minutes. Three minutes. Watch this. What were you expecting? What, what, what were you expecting? Were you expecting defeat? Here it is. Don't miss it. Here it is. God will only meet us at our level of expectation. God will meet you at your level of expectation. That's why I don't get, I'm not upset with people when they come to church and sit there like a bump on the log. Maybe they're not expecting what I'm expecting. I wish I had about a hundred people. Come on, we're about to go to brunch in a few minutes. We're about to go celebrate the resurrection on the day. But look at your neighbor, say neighbor, I gotta raise my level of expectation because when he got up we was always winning can I get somebody to give God a shout in the praise because my faith is taking me to another level I'm expecting victory I'm expecting doors to be open I'm expecting the favor of God to be on me I'm expecting Let's, let's go. Everyone is standing. We're going. What were you expecting? What were you expecting? Were you, you, were you expecting to see a dead body? You expecting to see a dead body? No. I'm basing it on what he said. He said I was the lender and not the bar. He said, I was the head and not the tail. I'm basing it on what he said. We walk by faith and not by. Don't get moved by what you see. But also be moved by what you. I know what he said. So listen, 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 listen. We're going. We're going home. But before we go home. He says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Now, here's, here's, here's the part. Watch this. If you read the text, Mary didn't really acknowledge Jesus until she, he called her by her name. He said, Mary, and she said, teacher, is that you? I don't know who you are this morning. But God is calling you by your name. Listen, listen. It ain't not, don't, doesn't matter if I know your name. As long as God knows your name. Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. If you don't miss, if you don't hear nothing else, here it is. Your greatest deliverance is when you get delivered from people. I can care less about what you think or say about me because you don't have a heaven or hell to put me in. I ain't even moved by that. Anybody just growing up that, you, man, you know what? That used to bother me. But that don't bother me no more. If you don't like the clothes I have on, you buy me some more. I'm trying to, I'm trying to impress people. For what? No. Listen, I don't, let's go. We, we got to go. Next service is going to be coming in. But before we head for the exit door, I need individuals. This is going to take 30 seconds. Today is the day. If you have never accepted the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior, if you're a backslider, and I say a backslider, listen, please hear me. You can't mess up enough for God to stop loving you. People may stop loving you. God will never. You can't mess up enough for God to stop loving you. And then there may be someone today saying, I've been waiting for this. God, I don't know who invited you. But let me tell you something. There's something great about an invitation. 
If you, you think about it like this, think about it like this. If you with somebody that you like, that you love, I'm not talking about the person who I can't stand them. I wish I would have never gave them my number. I'm not talking about that person. I'm talking about the person you like, the person you like being around, that person. It was one day that y'all met, but you did not know that was going to be the day that y'all was going to have a great relationship. You didn't even know. Somebody, somebody invited you to the club, I mean, um, to church. Wherever y'all met, wherever y'all met, somebody, somebody invited you. And you went, listen, listen, listen. Today is the invitation. If you need to accept the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior, if you're a backslider, if you're looking for a church home, I want you to come. I want to pray with you and pray for you. I want you to come. There you go. I want you to come. With no hesitation. No, all we're going to do is clap and applaud. Where are you today? That's all we're going to do. We're going to clap. We're going to applaud. Come on. I Thank you, honey. Thank you. I see you coming. Where are you today? I, I, every person. That you know God is speaking to you right now. God is saying, what were you expecting? I was setting you up. Won't you come real quick? All I want to do is pray. I see you, sir. All I want to do is pray with you and pray for you. If you need to accept the Lord Jesus, be a backslider. If you're looking for a church home, won't you come? Here it is, five more seconds. I'm not, I'm not going to, five more seconds. I see you, ma'am. I see you. I see you coming. Today is the day. Today is the day. I see you coming, honey. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anyone else? Are you coming today? I see you. I see you coming. Can y'all act like this is your brother, like this is your sister, like this is your mom, your aunt, your niece? I see you. Come. Come. I have, I have to really move. I have to really move. But I need those other 12 people. Those other 12. One. To, I need those other 10 people that God says I'm holding up the whole service. I see you, sir. God says I'm holding up the whole service just for you. I see you, sir. God said you mean so much to me that I will hold up the whole church service just for you. God said you're that special. I see you coming. See, y'all don't even understand when the move of God is happening because now God is touching somebody's heart. This is the most important service that somebody is giving the greatest invitation. I see you coming. I see you coming. I see you coming. Today is the day. Just keep showing up. Just keep showing up. Just keep showing up. I see you coming from the back. I see you coming from the back. talking to me. God says, yes, I am talking to you. You nervous on the inside. You really want to come up here. Well, guess what? The enemy will never tell you to do something that God wants you to do. And if you nervous on the inside, that's God speaking to you. God says, I'm talking, I want that last person. When that last person moves, is that's when, where are you today? I see you. Oh, Jesus. No, we just slipped up into the overflow. Tell somebody I see victory. Tell somebody I see victory. Tell somebody more than enough, exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ask, think, or imagine. Tell somebody more than enough. More. I see you coming, honey. I see you coming. I see you. Listen. Now let me say this to all of you. Let me say this to all of you. My little cousin. Let me say this to you. This is real. Because the enemy will 
tell you, oh, nothing didn't happen to you when you walk up there. It's not about a feeling. It's about knowing. It's not about a feeling. Because many of us, all of us in here today, sometimes we feel saved and sometimes we don't. Sometimes we act saved and sometimes we don't. But it's not about a feeling. It's about knowing. Amen. Can y'all help me thank God for all of them today? I want to pray with you and pray for you. Thank God for my little cousin. I want to pray for, with you. Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for all of these who have come. God, for whatever reason you already know. Father, I pray for them right now. I pray for the person who is allowing themselves to become a member of your church. Because, God, this is not my church. God, this is your church. I thank God for them. God, thank you for the backslider. Put the ring back up on their finger. The robe back up on their back. Kill the fatty calf. Let everybody know your son, your daughter is back home. Last but not least, that one who's accepting you as Lord and Savior for the very first time. What must I do to be saved? The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. I want to lead all of you now in this prayer of repentance. And the body of Christ is going to be in agreement with us. Repeat this after me if you would. Dear Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I come now asking that you would forgive me of all of my sins. Come into my heart, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. I promise to serve you the rest of my days. And I believe and I know that I am saved. I am saved. I am saved. Let's give the Lord another hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Now listen real quick. Listen real quick. Listen real quick. If any of you who are actually coming to be members, if you're coming to be a member of Beacon Life, I, I want you to stay right here with me. 30 more seconds. If you're not coming to be a member, you may return back to your seat. But every person who's actually coming to be members, just stay with me right here. Now listen. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Look at all of them. Thank y'all so much. I know we're going to be a better church now. Y'all here. Now listen. Just wait a minute. Now listen. I got to dismiss them because I just need to get some information from you. Now listen, family. Today is, today is resurrection. It's the Sabbath. It's a day that we're supposed to share time with family and friends. Please listen. Make sure today is a blessed day. Make sure that you spend time with family and friends. If you really study the Jewish culture, it was about laughing. It was about being full of joy and happiness. That's what the Sabbath is about. Don't ever forget the Sabbath is not just church. It's spending time with family. I hope and pray that you have been blessed and encouraged. Now listen, I know you. You left your purse back? Who you left it with? Auntie Chantel, Uncle Gene? Baby, you might want to go get your purse. I saw him the other day. I saw him the other day. It was like, how much? Yeah, me and Uncle Gene was in Home Depot. I was like, oh, Lord, they might be having a little money problem. I've got to watch them. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm playing. I know y'all got money. let the rest of us go. I want to hold them for one more minute. How many of you were truly blessed and encouraged today? What were you expecting? Raise your level of expectation. It's not what you see. It's what God said. What are you looking for? What are you expecting? Listen, I want to let you go in peace. I pray that doors will be open for you this week. I pray that the favor of God will be upon you. Let us pray. Father, we honor you. We thank you cover us on this resurrection Sunday as many of us will go out to be with family and friends on today father I pray now safe travels I pray now that the angels of God will be with us everywhere we go God we give you glory we give you honor we thank you that on today we recognize that you got up and father we thank you bless you now it's in Jesus name we pray amen go in peace I love